Hello everyone. Hello everyone. Welcome to this new episode of Swift uh, testing in Swift Academy. In the first episode, we'll discover a little bit of Swift testing with uh, n uh, things related to um, uh, to threads, uh, expect, etc. In this episode, we will create a new uh, Swift testing uh, classes based on the template unit uh, Swift testing unit test as you can see and uh, we go to next we'll choose for example user test as a name and after choosing uh, after choosing that we will um, go to make some tests about uh, user service uh, okay we will uh, first uh, delete uh, the import testing uh, as you uh, as you know but we will delete user test and uh, we will begin to make uh, a new struct uh, that we call the uh, user service test sorry but uh, we should maybe uh, name it, it for, first of all user service test but it's a mistake from me okay uh, this user service test it will uh, try to uh, to fetch to check if we uh, get correctly data from an API and uh, for me it's a very good example to, to check uh, a very good example uh, to, to practice Swift testing and uh, we have as usual the, the template with async throws fetch user and uh, in this episode we will try to uh, to know or to discover uh, sorry uh, things about what we call tags and tags it's uh, something very interesting to structure our test uh, into different groups and uh, uh, we can using tags uh, after that to, to check in the exit test plan uh, it's something to organize our uh, our testing um, in in swift testing we create the tags the name and the user service for example as you can see and uh, for for that we should extend tag we should extend tag uh, and add this user service as uh, a, a kind of new tags in our uh, in our list of tags we annotate it with a, a, a tag it's a, stat a static variable because tag i think it's a class i'm not sure about that but because we have static and uh, I think it's, uh, uh, it's a class and we extend this class with user service which is the same type like, um, like tag okay now we go further with our test and uh, before that sorry uh, we have a new group uh, appeared in the, uh, in the test panel uh, that we can access using command plus six um, and we can launch our test from this uh, new session and name and user service and uh, as you can see uh, test passes and uh, everything it's correct okay now we uh, we can f uh, begin with our uh, test we can imagine that we have a JSON uh, data that represent our user and this uh, uh, JSON data is composed of the data that uh, uh, our API will um, uh, will send to us. Uh, this te technique is really really uh, great because it um, it help us to create some predictable and controlled test scenario. If you are uh, if you have what we call um, uh, uh, we we have. Uh, we decided our backend team with the form of our uh, data returned. We are not waiting that he developed uh, or the API because we know that uh, we we have this format or uh, of JSON data, for example, for user. And this kind of of mocking uh, JSON data allows allows us to be uh, much more reliable and faster to execute our test and to uh, progress in our development. Okay, uh, we can imagine that we have a user service and this user service, service maybe have a dependency to uh, some URL session. That's why I inject uh, 
my session uh, when I create my user service. It's not, it's not, uh, I'm not sure of my code, it's a TDD approach, maybe I will refactor after that, but it's, uh, it's something that uh, I like very much to, uh, to, to, to use a TDD approach uh, to, to make my, my code. And uh, as you can see, we use uh, Swift concurrency to make a call to the fetch user, which for me it's a uh, it's asynchronous code that need to be uh, need to time. That's why we we have the try uh, the try await uh, uh, for the fetch user. We expect that our user ID uh, equal to uh, to one. Uh, now uh, we should make a production code for that, and to make a production code there is two approach. We can make the production code the same place like the test code or in the, uh, in, the, in the target, in the production target, which is the discover new testing. And we will create new empty Swift file that we can call it user service if you, if you want. And uh, we can have both Xcode help us to have this uh, um, uh, to show both side by side uh, the user service test and also the user service production code. Uh, the struct service come and we should for that uh, to uh, to uh, that uh, if our test code uh, can check or can um, uh, discover the production code we should import with the add testable import discover or directly import the discover but at this time we should uh, make our struct uh, a public struct by default that's why I prefer to use the testable import uh, to expose internal type uh, function we have the function fetch user which is a sync uh, uh, function that can throws because we, uh, I I predict that we have a user that we we should de decode, and uh, for that we return a user, and uh, we should create a struct that represent our user. With at least we have the ID which is uh, uh, an int. The user it's a codable because they come from an API. We are not in architecture now because uh, we are. We try to simplify. We are not distinction between codable, uh, not using codable, etc. When you call a service, it's not our problem now, and uh, that's why we try to make the uh, the minimum code that our testing pass. Okay, that's why we should, for my point of view use what we call uh, work it and uh, uh, fake it and until they work and uh, this is one of the techniques used in TDD and for that for me uh, the test expect that user ID equal one okay I return user ID one and for that we should not have session in our uh, in our um, in our user service but we will integrate it after Okay, uh, as you, you can see, the test pass, but, okay, the test pass, but we, uh, we know that it's not sufficient to, uh, uh, to go further with our, um, with our production code. That's why we should, um, we should have uh, to make a real call, and for make a real call in our production code, we need some, uh, some tools to make that. And one of the tools it, it use URL session. URL session will use it using async await. That's why I, I delete the line uh, 17 and replace it with a, 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 a real call to um, to fetch uh, to fetch user. Uh, async await generally with uh, URL session uh, return um, we have. Uh, Two things: the data and the response. I don't need the URL response. For me, I uh, I need uh, only the data. I will not make uh, until now a check uh, about the state code of the response, etc. It will be uh, further in the next uh, some next episode about that. How to handle information that comes uh, from the backend, make test for test for that, 
it's not uh, it's not the the target of this video and we'll decode user uh, as you know using JSON decoder I think that I need the foundation uh, and also the try because our JSON decoder uh, decoder maybe uh, it's it low okay uh, now as we uh, uh, as we have user service we should integrate reintegrate reinject uh, URL session and for for that we should create a session and for create session there is multiple uh, multiple kind or uh, uh, manner to, to do that and um, for my point of view I will choose what we call URL session co uh, configuration and URL session configuration uh, it's uh, it's really um, uh, it's very amazing because we can use the configuration to make uh, to, uh, to make uh, to create our session. But when we launch our test, as you can see, we find that we make real code, real call to our API, which is we are not in unit testing something like integration test, and for that we should mock the call to the user server. We should not make a real call. We should stop or mocking the call. There is a lot of tools to make that. One of the tools that I, I will try to, uh, uh, to uh, present, especially in the next episode, it's using what we call the URL protocol. It's a very related to URL session, but really amazing thing uh, developed by, uh, by Apple that we will discover uh, in the next ep episode. We will We'll try to, uh, I will try to explain to you how we can use URL protocol, how to create what we call URL protocol mock to, uh, to um, mock the call retrieved by, uh, by the API. And we will discover the request, the, etc. All, all these things we'll discover in the next episode. Thank you and...